Hi, I'm Liz Haas, and what I have in front of me is our complete mask making kit. And I'm going to go over all the different items that are included in this kit and why it is a complete kit. First, we have our print film. I'm going to start you off with 10 sheets of inkjet film. It's a premium inkjet film, and this is only for your inkjet printer. Next we have is our UV vellum. This is an improved UV vellum for this process. You get five sheets. Then we have 25 sheets of laser film. Now this is a, a higher quality laser film that's used for your detailed designs, photos. It's a great film for your laser printer. And you get a full pack of 25 sheets. Next we have is our Magic Dark. Now this is used for a laser printer. So this is going to be for your UV vellum or for your laser film. But what it does is it darkens the print. So if your laser printer is not printing dark enough prints, you can apply this toner and use the roller, and it will darken your toner on those prints, making it a usable print. Next we have is our washout hose. Now this comes with a faucet adapter, so it fits most faucets. Then we have, is on the end of this is a gun. It has a nozzle. And then when you press the gun, it creates a fan spray, a pressurized fan spray that's perfect for developing the photoresist. A nice wide fan with pressurized water makes your film develop quicker and faster and evenly. Then we have is our washout board. This is a special treated metal. It's epoxy coated and it's, it has magnets so you can adjust your photoresist. You can cut the magnets if you need to. But once you place your exposed photoresist and you start washing it out, you can see your design develop because it looks white because of the board. And you can tell when, you're, when your design or when your photo mask is washed out. You don't want to overwash it. That's why we have this board white so you can tell when you're done. Then we're going to go to our photoresist. Now we have, the kit includes SR3000. It's our self-sticking photoresist film. It is repositionable. It's flexible. It's great film for sandblasting. Uh, now if you notice the sheets do come in a Ziploc foiled bag to protect your photoresist from the light and you can just open it up, remove your photoresist and then just zip it right back up. Just apply pressure, zip that back up and then it's protected. You get 3 mil. 3 mil is our most popular mil thickness. It's for general use uh, for a surface edge and for detailed artwork. Next you have is a four mil. This is used for a little bit, if you want to blast a little bit deeper and your design is not as detailed, four mil is the right mil for you. And lastly, if you want to blast and you want to carve or you want to blast a little bit deeper and you want to get some depth in your glass, you want to use the five mil. You get five sheets of five mil. It's perfect um, for um, blasting depth, rock, on rock or stone, glass, but just for your depth. You get five sheets of each, 15 total. Next is we give you cover paper. Now this is, it's a very inexpensive um, cover paper. It, what it's used for is for protecting your photoresist after it's been washed out. So once you have your photoresist washed out and it's dry, you're not going to use it right away, apply the cover paper to the back of that and it keeps it clean, it keeps it protected, it keeps it tacky and that's what the co cover paper is used for. Then we have is our application tools. You'll notice we have a wire wheel roller, a plastic burnisher, and we have some blasting tape. The burnisher is perfect for squeezing down your photoresist to your substrate. You want to apply pressure and squeeze you down your photoresist. After you have that your photo mask secured to your glass, you want to use your wire wheel roller. Now this, what this does is you just roll it over your open design of the photo mask and it just perforates that membrane and releases any trapped air that can be trapped underneath your photo mask between your glass and your photo mask. This is an important tool, it's very handy and it's very easy to use. Next we have is our sandblasting tape. It's two inches wide, it's 50 yards, but what, what is so special about this tape is it's, it's a ribbed PVC tape. So it's very easy to use. You can tear it very nicely and it's very easy and it, it protects your glass or the open areas that are not protected by the photoresist from the sand. And that's what the sandblasting tape is used for. Lastly, we have is our electrolyte unit. Um, just a UV electrolyte unit. 
It has an electrolyte blanket. The bulb is a UV bulb. It sits three inches from the cylinder. So you have proper exposure, distance of your photo mask and the print film. The blanket clicks to the end. It, it secures nicely so you, have, you don't have to worry about any movement between your mask and your artwork during exposure. You want to expose for 25 seconds. And another use for the electrolyte, you can remove the cylinder and just UV glue. If you need to cure your, your UV gluing, you need a, a UV light to cure it, that's what this can be used for. Why should you buy our complete mask making kit? Well, number one is that it is a complete kit. We have included all these items for you to have a great start right from the beginning. If you're buying directly from the manufacturers, you have direct pricing, direct customer service, and then you have direct technical support. If you have any questions, you're dealing directly with the manufacturer.